Hi friends, you are most welcome to my channel Pharma Engineering. Today we will discuss the size of spanner required for dismantling the bolts and LM bolts. Uh, so come on guys, this is the most favorite question asked in interview by the interviewer. But uh, suppose I asked you, what is the size of spanner required for dismantling 10 mm hexagonal bolt? So I know that 95% of you are not able to give the correct answer. Only those who technicians and fitters who are daily working on spanners are able to give the correct answer but professional persons are not able to give the correct answer. The reason is that you don't know the thumb rule and uh, formula for calculating the size of spanner required for dismantling the bolts. So come on let's see. Uh, first of all we see the hexagonal bolt, the size of spanner required for hexagonal bolt. So here if our hexagonal bolt size is in even number that like 4 mm, 6 mm, 8 mm, 10 mm, 12 mm then its uh, formula is bolt size plus half a bolt size plus 1 Why can't we, uh, For example if we consider this bolt size as 10 mm then size of spanner required can be calculated by this formula We have put the values in this 10 mm plus half of 10 plus 1 we got uh, 16 mm that is for dismantling this 10 mm bolt we require 16 mm spanner similarly for hexagonal bolt if size is in even number 11 mm 13 mm 15 mm 9 mm then we can calculate the size of spanner by this formula bolt size plus half of bolt size plus 0.5 which gives the size of spanner for example if we consider this bolt size is 11 mm this threading size is 11 mm then put the values in this formula 11 mm plus half of 11 plus 0.5 we got 17 mm that is for dismantling this 11 mm hexagonal bolt we require 17 mm spanner now we will see for uh, allen bolts Suppose if our LM bolt is below 5 mm, this size that is threading size is below 5 mm, then uh, the LM kit required will be one, one less than the bolt size. That is, if our bolt size is 5 mm, then 4 mm LM key is required for this mandling this. If our bolt size is 4 mm, threading size is 4 mm, then 3 mm LM key is required this, uh, for this mandling this. If our LM bolt size is above 5 mm, that is, if this threading size is above 5 mm, then LM key required, LM key size will be 2 mm less than the bolt size. That is, for 8 mm LM bolts, we require 6 mm LM key. For 10 mm LM bolts, we require 8 mm LM key. For 12 mm bolt, uh, threading size LM bolt, we require 10 mm LM key, like this. And for the, uh, dismantling the drop screw, uh, the thread, uh, LM key size will be half of the drop screw size. That is, for suppose this drop screw size is 6 mm, then LM key required will be half of 6, that is 3 mm. Suppose our drop screw size is 4 mm, then for dismantling this we require half of uh, 4, that is 2 mm LM key, like this. So this is the formula for LM key for grub screw. So thanks for watching. For more technical videos, please subscribe my channel. And if you like this uh, video, then please share it to your colleagues, friends on Facebook and WhatsApp. Thanks for watching.